south of Boston, bar pizza is not pizza you get at a bar. It's its own thing entirely. Bar pizza is kind of like for the individual person. It's a, a pan pizza. Crispy crust, very thin. It's a buttery, biscuity crust with usually cheddar cheese. We don't hand toss it. Put it in a pan and push it out. Goes in the oven, comes out, gets cut, and it's delicious. It's very unique. They can order what they like. And it is typical of just this section of Massachusetts. Just make sure you know the lingo. Everybody calls it different. The lingo calls it crispy and lace, right? Yeah. But the Sto uh, Stoughton Town Spa calls it burnt edges. Call it burnt edges. So you can't you can't mix them up. If you say crispy and lace there, they get they mad because they know that's a Linwood thing. We asked you who had the best bar pizza and headed out to your top three spots. First up, Brockton's own Cape Cod Cafe. It was purchased by my grandfather in 1947. I'm not sure how it started. We're one of the originals. My father tells me that every bar in Brockton had a pizza, and everybody shared the recipe. And this is what came out of it. It was a, a small pan pizza. Chef George Benzino has been with Cape Cod Cafe for 35 years. He celebrated his 10 million pizza a few years ago. We can whip them up pretty fast. <laughs> hundreds and hundreds and hundreds. They cook up unique pizzas here, like their buffalo mac and cheese pizza. Their meat lover's pizza is loaded with meat sauce. What a surprise. Ham, pepperoni, linguiça, hamburger, and sausage. Got enough? But the tried and true Roni remains their best seller. It's covered in pepperoni, nice big pepperonis. They kind of cup up when you're cooking them. A little bit of grease in the pepperoni. It's a delicious pizza. We're the Tuesday regulars here. Jan Janice knows to expect them. Oh, yes. Absolutely. I've tried everything on the menu. This is where it was invented. Why would I go anywhere else? I got a bacon pizza, crispy. Got to be crispy because it makes it nice and hot around the edges. Very good. Crispy. He got a cheese crispy, and we always split it. Crispy and laced. And what exactly is a laced pizza? Stefan Campanella, manager of Linwood Cafe, explains. Laced is where we sear the edge of the pizza, much like how you sear a steak to give it more flavor in a pan. We first started back in 1949 with my great-grandparents buying the place. Now, Campanella runs the Randolph restaurant with his mother and sister. People come for the bar pizza because that's all they serve. Popular pies include the linguisa. We do have a place that we get our linguisa from, from Fall River. It's smoked every week, and then they ship it up here. Then there's the bean special. Boston baked beans, onions, and salami. So it kind of comes out like beans and bacon when it's done. You know, I always joke on a Friday night, if you go into the dining room, it's, it's basically like a high school reunion. Literally. We all graduated in 1967. And whenever somebody comes up from some other state, we all get together and this is where we come. Linwood's the best, a true bar pizza. And the recipe has never changed. We're getting the same pizza now that we got when we were 21. Because we weren't drinking before then. <laughs> One of the mantras that my grandfather always had was get the best quality ingredients and you'll have a really delicious pizza. I think people appreciate that. Down the road in Stoughton, we find a crowd at Town Spa Pizza. Kerry Hughes' grandparents opened the restaurant in 1955. Still family owned and operated. We've got the fourth generation is now working here. The recipe's always been the same since day one. The consistency is the important thing. Town Spa is my favorite by far. I'll talk to people and everybody has different opinions, but for me, it's always been here. Hughes says the classics reign supreme here. Cheese, of course, pepperoni, onion and pepper is super popular. Great combination. Linguisa, it seems to be very popular in this area. Takeout gets busy on Friday and Saturday nights. Typically, we'll definitely get up to an hour wait within a short time. They don't mind if they're usual Friday night, Saturday night customers. They know and they'll call at five, knowing they don't want it till six. People are super loyal to us and it's great. And we have customers that go to us as well as the other area pizzerias and they have, you know, their favorites, but they always come back. And the title of best bar pizza goes to, well, that's for you to decide. Aren't we diplomatic? The well, competition was fierce. It was. Well, and before we get in trouble for choosing the top three, it was our Facebook friends who voted. Yes, not us. Yes, yes. Now, one of the contenders on there, I have been to. Mm -hmm. What I love about it, Hoey's and Randolph, if any of our viewers have been, they know. If you haven't, it is possibly in the single most unlikely location ever. Mm -hmm. It is in Randolph at the local Amvets Post 51. And Fantastic and pizza. And delicious pizza. One of the best pizzas I ever had, gas station in Vermont. 
Get I out! Mean, I, it was really good. Get out! I'll tell you about it in the break. <laughs> All-star ingredients make the pizza.